Hi everybody, welcome to our weekly tutorial. Um, I'm Sandy Reese. I'm an independent Stampin' Up, Stampin Up demonstrator and um, I have a, a fun project to do with you today. We haven't done this one before, but I'll give it a couple minutes for people to start logging in. Um, I asked what everybody had been doing and I know several of you are working from home. Some are still going into work. Uh, a lot of people have been making cards, so that's awesome. You guys need to, to post some of those cards. Um, I've, I've been making some cards, but I've also been sewing some masks, so I know several of you have been doing that as well. I thought I would show you a couple of the ones. I'm just doing them for family. Uh, so I'd FaceTime the kids and ask them, you know, let them pick out fabrics and stuff. So I had finished Katie's. So this was Katie's. This is the design I'm doing. So it has two layers of fabric and two layers of non-woven interfacing to have a little more of a barrier there. But uh, they got to do inside. Uh, that's her inside. You can kind of see that. Let me see if I can get my, here we go. So it's kind of a teal with gold swirlies and then the other side's like a batik. But you can kind of flip them and so they're reversible. Uh, my problem is I don't have a whole lot of elastic, which I thought I did, but uh, I'm hopefully we'll have enough. This one is for Tim's fiance or Kim's fiance Tim. He just wanted plain dark blue. This one's for my son-in-law Joey. We have plaid on one side, dark blue on the other. <laughs> I'm not sure Joey's gonna wear them, but he may. Hi, cat. It's it's. I wish I could see you guys. Um, but it's it's nice knowing that you're on. And then this is Katie's boyfriend's. She, he likes Legend of Zelda. <laughs> he picked out Legend of Zelda. And then the other side is Pokemon. We had to make sure Charmander was on there, I guess. So um, I finished those. I'm kind of doing them in color batches so I don't have to change out my thread so often. So I'm doing... Um, the next group are reds and pinks, so I'll be doing some of those later today. So if you guys are doing something like that, Brenda said she was posting or she was sewing masks, so Brenda, you should post your mask on there. Hi, Lori. Lucy's on there. Um, hi, Lucy. Lucy, we miss you. I miss all of you guys. Catherine um, stopped by today to pick up... Um, some stuff so it was nice to see her she was saying you know it's nice her husband's sweet but it's nice to see somebody else so um before i get started too i wanted to remind you tonight at 6 30 i'm doing a facebook live with what would normally be our workshop projects this month uh, some of you already have your workshop projects so feel free to get those out get all your supplies and you can make them along with me uh, if you don't have a set of projects, all you have to do to get them is place an order of at least $20, and I will mail you a set of the three projects for free. So, that's a good deal. Uh, all right, so our projects last week were these little cards, little note cards and envelopes using some of the uh, Peaceful Poppies elements, and you... The kit also included some extra little elements in the back. So I did a drawing this morning and our winner is Carol Woodruff. So congratulations, Carol. I'm going to put these in the mail to you. I'm hoping to get, get to the post office first thing um, Monday to mail off all these masks. So I will stick these in the mail to you. All right, it looks like we've got a few on there. Not seeing, but sewing. That's okay, Kat, I knew what you meant. <laughs> okay, so um, so this is, uh, today's project is something I haven't really done before. It's called a One Sheet Wonder. Now, some of you have heard of a One Sheet Wonder. Well, some of you haven't. So what it is, is you take one piece, a 12 by 12 piece of designer paper and I today I'm going to do this piece. It's the one of the Magnolia Lane um, designer papers, and you cut it so you get lots of different pieces enough to make 14 different cards. So you will need card bases. So that's seven sheets of cardstock, coordinating cardstock for your bases, 
And then uh, white or vanilla, whichever one is gonna match. And then another color, a contrast color. So I've already done one set. And I'll give you a quick peek at those in a second. Um, I'm gonna do, using this same pack of designer paper, but I used a different pattern the first time. So this time I'm gonna use a different pattern. So I am going to flip you guys upside down. So give me a second here. Settings. Oh, my phone's slow. Okay. Um, all right, let's see if we can get you facing straight down there. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so this is the sheet I'm gonna use today. So a couple tips on the type of designer paper you pick. You want to pick something with a fairly small pattern because some of our pieces that we're gonna cut are pretty small. So you want to be able to tell what it is. So pick a small pattern and pick a non-directional pattern. So this one, flowers are going every which way. So any way I turn this, it's gonna be fine, okay? Um, if it were you know, a larger print and only going in one direction, that would be a little, a, would be too hard to work with. So this is the one we're gonna do today. But I'm gonna show you real quickly and I'll compare these later. These are the ones that I did yesterday. And these are very basic, simple card layouts. Um, but that's the point. It's very, it's quick. It's simple. Well, that one's upside down, that one. This one, I added a little bit of ribbon. Now you don't have to, but you know, it's sometimes add a little bit. You could add some gems. Here's one here. Here's another one there. That one's pretty basic. I could add a little bow on that. This one, got this one here, and this one here. So those, and this is one I did using the, the black background with the other magnolias. And I used petal pink for my base, I have white, and then I have black. So we'll kind of compare those later. So for this one, I'm doing this project, I'm doing um, this pattern, I'm using, still I'm using the petal pink. For my card bases, I like to use a light color, so then I don't have to add extra cardstock on the inside. And then I'm using white, and then my contrast with this one, I'm using um, early espresso, because it just looked good with this color. And I like pink and, pink and brown together. And then I'm going to stay, since I'm using the Magnolia Lane designer paper, I'm gonna stay with the Good Morning Magnolia, what I like about this one, and I'm not using the dies, but it's got a big flower and a small flower, plus a leaf. It's got this little this little pattern here, which I didn't use. I might use today, we'll see. And then also has several sentiments, so um, this was a good one. But you could use any sentiment sets, or you, know, you don't even have to do flowers in the background. You could do something else, or you could just leave it blank. Um, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of this ribbon. So you just pick whatever coordinating ribbon goes with whatever designer paper you have. And I could have rhinestones. I might get out some rhinestones later. We'll see. We will see. All right, so this is the pattern for a one sheet wonder. And I'm going to, after I'm done here, I'm gonna upload pictures of the projects and the video to my blog. And I will um, also post this on the um, in the file section on Facebook. So you can print this out and it will show you the exact dimensions to cut. But I'm gonna show you how to cut uh, now and then you can get the, the measurements later. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna turn, let me open up my, Open up my thing here. All right, where are we? Oh, I'm probably going from the wrong end. That's the problem. All right, I'll get this figured out eventually. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a day. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off five and a half inches. So let's find five and a half right up here. All right. So on this five and a half piece, 
I'm going to cut a three inch, cut off three inches. Then I'm going to cut off a half inch. And I cut off another half an inch. I get that right straight all right and then I'm going to cut off another three inch piece and on that three inch I'm going to flip it and cut cut it to three inches so I have a three by three inch block and then I have this piece I'm going to turn this back around and this is uh, I'm going to cut this in one inch increments because right now this is three by I think it's two and a half so I'm going to cut it off so I have um, three two and a, one by two and a half inch pieces so these are just little bitty strips that are one inch wide two and a half inches long all right I'm gonna keep those together all right then I'm going to cut off a two inch strip of the remaining and we'll just leave this three inch this should be three inches yes we're gonna leave that plain okay so on my remaining I'd already cut off five and a half I'm going to cut um, a let's do a five and a quarter five and a quarter inches Get my blade up here all right, so that leaves me a one and a quarter inch long skinny strip. So I'm gonna cut, turn this around and, okay, so I'm, this is 12 by one and a quarter. I'm gonna cut off three one and a quarter inch little squares. All right, so there's one. Are you guys seeing this okay? Okay, let's go down another one and a quarter right here all right there's two and then another one and a quarter three all right so I have these little three little strips and then I'm going to cut a four inch piece oh, let's just cut that four it's easier to see and then I'm cutting another four inch piece all right, so actually this is the only amount of waste I have is this little itty bitty strip. Okay, so we're, we're gonna set that over there. Now this is my five and a quarter inch piece. So I'm gonna flip it this way. And I'm gonna cut a two and a half inch panel. All right, and then I'm gonna cut a one and a half inch panel. And then I'm gonna cut a four inch. I'm going to set that aside because I'm going to do something with that. And then I'm going to cut, all right, is that right? One and a quarter, two and a half, one and a quarter, four inches, and then, oh, four. So I have a four inch panel left over. That's right. So I'm going to flip this this way and I'm going to cut off a three inch piece. All right. And then I'm going to cut off uh four by i'm going to do three three quarters so we're going to do a three quarters here a three quarters here and then i have three quarters left over so i have three three quarter inch strips so here i've got my four by five and a quarter so i'm going to cut this one at a diagonal so I want to mark in at one inch from either side and find myself a pencil. All right, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to do, that's one inch. And then on this end, it's one inch. I think on my other one, I cut my paper backwards but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna line this up with my little cutting channel. 
hopefully. All right. So I've got two pieces like that. All right. I'm gonna make sure I erase my little marks. Okay. All right, and that is all the cutting you're gonna do on the designer paper. All right, so I already have my card bases made. I should have folded these ahead of time. I did score them. I'm just gonna fold and press these real quick. So we're gonna make 14 cards, which is quite a few cards. And you'll see these go quickly. So I want you guys to try this and then post a picture under this video in the comments section and send me a picture. Use different um, designer papers and maybe a different stamp set and show. Give us an example of what you did because I think it would be cool to see all the different, different cards that you guys make with the different designer papers. We have so many beautiful papers. It's, you know, they just make nice cards by themselves. All right, so if you, when you print this out, you're gonna see on this template that it gives you measurements, but it also has these red numbers. So that's the numbers that you use on the card. So card number one, uh, you're gonna use this piece. All right, so I did mine, I'm gonna flip them upside down because I started from the beginning. So this is piece number one, which is three by five and a half. So if you look at it, it goes like this. And I have kind of pre-cut a few things to use with this. Uh, so I just measured, I looked at this and then I measured three and a quarter wide. So if this is three inches wide, this is three and a quarter. And that gives me a little bit of a mat on either side. All right. I might have to get a new one of these. I think it's almost out. So this is gonna be very quick to do. I'm just gonna adhere this to the middle of my early espresso. And I really didn't even pop up much on here. I'm gonna put this right in the middle of my card front. And then I didn't use any punches at all. Now, if you want to use some punches, make some fun um, shapes to put your words and stuff on with, you can. Um, I just cut some, some paper with my paper cutter. Okay, this one, make sure I get that centered. I'm going to do that in espresso. And then, just to add a little bit more, I'm going to take a pink, uh, petal pink magnolia piece and just kind of put it down there. Just, just because, why not? I should just leave those open. All right, now I could pop that up on top if I wanted. I think I'm just gonna use a little snail and stick that on right there. You know, I'm going to get some rhinestones, hold on. The champagne rhinestones came back into stock, so I've ordered a couple of those. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna do a, a, a large, uh, I don't know, a medium and a small. Oh, that's so pretty, pretty and sparkly. So this one I did the same layout as I did before, all right? So our next one, we are using these two skinny half inch strips. Uh, let me find the card, the other card that I did this with. Okay, right here. So I remember what I'm doing. All right, so on this one, I've got a strip of white, and this white is two and a half by five and a half. 
And then I'm just going to put these little pieces of designer paper on either side. And that's all I'm going to do on this one. So because I had this big piece of white, I'm going to take my big magnolia and ink it up with some petal pink. So I'm only using petal pink and espresso. And I'm going to do this one. I'm going to have it kind of coming up from the bottom. Ooh. And then I'm going to use this one. And we'll do this one as a thank you card. So I've got a nice big thanks right here. I'm just going to stick that right in the middle. Just like that. All right. So these cards are meant to be quick, so you can make a lot of them. Hopefully this is centered. All right. Just gonna butt this up right next to it. See, because it is a non-directional, sometimes you'll have flowers going more up or they'll be going more down, but you can flip it around because it is, you know, it goes all different directions. So here's this one I did before. This is this one. So up here I did the flower up top. This one I did it down below. Same thing, just a little bit different look. All right, so the third one, I feel like I put these backwards. I'm gonna flip those upside down. We're using the three by three piece. So I've already cut, cut a piece of espresso that's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And this also has, this probably would have looked good, this green, the green side on there. A little more of a contrast. Okay, I'll think about that later because our paper is double-sided. So if the other side looks good, you can use that too. All right, so we're gonna do thinking of you on this one. I think I'm gonna place this here so I know where to write, where to stamp thinking of you. I'm gonna do that over on the left side just for something different. All right. Pop this up right here. Okay, that is very plain. It's still cute, but it's plain. That's why I chose to um, use a little bit of ribbon. And I'm looking for my fork bow tire. Here it is. And I'm gonna tie a little bow using, this is what's an old spatula that had, you need to have straight tines. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to loop this around. I'm going to cut off some ribbon here. So I've got it looped around. I'm going to put this down through the center. Bring it up around and then just tie a little half knot. Pull that off. Oh, that's so cute. And then, uh, oh, let's see, we'll do a little trim. This one tends to fray just a little bit on the ends while you're playing with it. And then we'll stick it on with a glue dot. I always use my leftover paper pumpkin glue dots that I have handy. And we'll just pop that right there. Very cute, all right. Okay, so card number four, we use the three um, pieces that are one by two and a half, I believe. So I have cut three pieces of one and a quarter by two and three quarters. And this, you want to make sure on this one that you get them lined up in the order you cut them. So, how did I cut them? Those cut together, 
Okay, those were together. And then this one, I'll figure that out in a sec. Let me get this down. Okay. So that went there. And this one, let's figure out which way this went. That did not go there. I feel like that might be upside down. Let's try this. It went there. Okay. So that was the order. Let's see if I can keep them in order. Okay, that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna take another card base. And I like to start with the middle one so I can make sure that that's centered. All right. Whoops, a little ribbon scrap there. I'm just lightly putting them down until I make sure that they all look pretty good in their spaces. I feel like I need to scooch over just a hair. So I'm gonna put that one there. I can pick this up, move this over just a hair more. And then this one needs to come over. Okay, so for this thing, I've got this one together. We're gonna do this in espresso. I feel like that is, does not look good. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with that picture. Let's try it again. It was too low and not straight. Okay, that looks better. All right, we're gonna just stamp this one. It says, the journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. That is a perfect saying for this time. All right, very cute. So this was the other one. This is ink that <laughs> my stamp was not clean, and then for some reason I inked it with petal pink and it came out this weird color but I like the darker, the darker color better. All right, so next one, that was card number four. Card number five, we are going to use, this is two by five and a half. And I think we'll do this one landscape. So I cut a piece of espresso that was two and a quarter by five and a half. All right. Now with this one, we could go up, we could go down, we could go in the center. I think with this one, I'm gonna go up on this one and then we're gonna stamp on the bottom. And we're gonna do another one of these, the same saying, big saying right there. And then I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna take my little pink magnolia flower. I'm gonna stamp off and then I'm gonna stamp on. So what it does is give a very light, these are light anyway, but it gives this real pretty light magnolia pattern. I'll show that up there, see if you can see that. Let me flip my light. Can you see that very light, very light? You can see it in person. Sometimes on the video it's a little bit harder. Let me get these aimed down better here. All right, so let's add, how do I have so many pieces of ribbon scrap stuck to me? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's put this on our early espresso panel. pretty okay so on this one I had put it down lower and then I stamped above it so you can do it either way all right our card number six we've got a three inch piece so we're gonna do another one uh, this one I did um, enjoy today because it is a pretty big panel so because it's three inches wide I cut a three and a quarter inch by five and a half inch design or uh, espresso 
mat. You wouldn't have to use a mat. If you don't want to use mats, you don't have to. You could just do that. But I, I like the contrast. I like having a little bit of contrast, especially because this one is a lighter, uh, a lighter background. Make sure I'm gluing this on right. And then I think I'm going to use this small one that says enjoy today. And we'll just stamp that down here. Enjoy today. And then let's take a piece of ribbon. I'm going to just tape that around the back. All right. This is a really easy way to tie a bow or not. that around and then take another piece and then just tie a little a little half knot and I kind of finagle it turn it around so the knot looks pretty here all right I'll cut that off that aside. Perfect. Okay. I hear John on his motorcycle. He went for a little motorcycle ride today. I can hear him coming home. His motorcycle is so loud. Okay. So this was the first one I made. This one, and and you know, I just switched the position of the bow and the words. So you can change these up a little bit, kind of whatever you're feeling up to. So now we're going to work on our three little strips. And I'm going to make sure I get those lined up. Yeah, that's the direction I cut them. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do those? Or maybe I want to do, I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to do these. What's my next card? Oh, no, we'll wait. We'll wait. I'm out of order. Okay. So the next one is my, I think it's two and a half by five and a half, or five and a quarter. So I cut a five and a half by two and three quarter inch uh, espresso piece. Let me get this going here. So this from, was from the other big panel. All right. And then I'm going to stamp a few more pink, pink magnolias, kind of just randomly. Oh, okay. One there. <laughs> we'll just kind of overlap since that's the route we're going today. Okay, there's some randomly overlapped magnolias. Oh dear, I am not the most graceful stamper at times. But we can make it work. We could actually, you know what we'll do, since that's kind of a mess, a hot mess. We're just going to stamp some more on this side. Stamp them close together, kind of coming off. There we go. And we are going to put this piece on, oh, I need more. Hold on. Let's just cover the whole thing. Let's fill in our spaces right here. Okay, now we have a whole, <laughs> whole front of Stamp Magnolias. Oh, so I'm going to put this on this side. And cover up where I dropped it. All right. And then I just cut a little half inch strip of white. And we are going to stamp Enjoy Today on this, hopefully straight. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that's pretty straight. All right. And then I'm going to, maybe I won't flag. I'm just going to cut this straight, hopefully pretty straight. I am going to pop this one up. You wouldn't have to, but 
it's just a little banner, so let's pop it up and see what happens. I'm just going to stick this one down here. And there we go. Enjoy today. Here's the original one that I did yesterday. So same basic things, but just changed up a little. All right, so our next one, we're using a five and a quarter by one and a half inch strip. So I cut a piece of espresso that's five and a half, because our DSP is five and a quarter, and then I did it one and three quarters inch wide. having a border on the top and the bottom and I think we'll do we'll do this one going across the center and our words I'm gonna do thanks let's see thanks I'm gonna do thanks up here and then there's an inside saying for thanks and it says uh, not only for what you do but for being someone so special so you could put that on the inside, but I am going to put this on the outside too because I have enough space and then I can do the whole inside, write something fun. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and stick this on. Right in the center, hopefully. All right, and that looks nice, but what we could also do is just tie a little half knot. So if you don't want to add a whole lot of bow or bulk, this is really thin ribbon, so it's okay to add a bow, but I'm just gonna do a little knot. All right, and we'll put this on with a glue dot. Let's see, where do I want it? I want it kind of, I'm gonna put it over on this side here in the middle. Which side looks better, that one? All right. It almost looks like little angel wings. Okay, cute. So this was the original. And this is with the new designer paper. Okay, uh, let's do our diagonal cards. So we have our two pieces of diagonal designer paper that we cut. Now, if you just wanted to do one card, you could do this. No, you can't, that won't look good. <laughs> Forget I said that. All right, so instead of cutting a full mat, to go behind this, I just had some extra um, strips of espresso scraps left over while I was doing my um, cutting. So I'm just going to glue this down so I have a nice little, you know, just a little break up here to add a little pop. And I'm gonna just cut off the extra. I'll just put my scissors up against my designer paper and just cut it like that. So it just lays on like that. You can switch it around and put it upside down like this. But I'm gonna do this one like that. And I still I have this nice big area of pink that looks kind of boring. So I'm going to do my magnolia. I'm going to do it coming up from where the paper is. Let's try that and see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's do a hello card. There's, we haven't done a hello yet. Now I could put this hello anywhere I wanted. I don't know. I'm going to put it right here, kind of coming off this petal. All right. Do hello, and because this is only four inches, I'm gonna. I've got a border of pink all the way around. Let's add a few little rhinestones to this one. Let's put three 
I'm going to put one down there. Let's put one over here and one, oh, I can't get it, up here. Oh, cute. All right. So here you can see on this one, I did, I cut my paper the opposite way. So you can cut it either way. Did my magnolia coming down from the top and then I did hello up there and no rhinestones on that one. Okay, so we have one more. Oh, this is my other. So you can see on this one, I did them opposite. All right, let's get our piece. Here's another little scrap piece of early espresso. I'm just going to stick this on here. Let's see. I just want a little bit of a border. That looks good. All right. Trim those off on the edges. Oh, that probably should have come a little further down. That's okay. All right. Another blank card base. And we're going to go ahead and stamp another large magnolia. Petal pink. Let's see. I do like them coming up from the paper. So let's just go ahead and do another one of those. These, you know, you're not going to necessarily mail the exact same card to the same person. So if you make some cards that are the same, it's okay. It's a lot faster, less designing you have to do. Uh, okay, we're going to do hello on this one too. Oh, I'm just going to do it in the same place. Sometimes it's just easier not have to, you know, think about it. So let's do three more rhinestones. All right. So now we have our two diagonal pieces. All right, what do we have left? We have this piece, which is four by three. All right, four by three, so that's a pretty good size piece. I have, this is just a piece of extra scrap I had that was five and a half by, ooh, how wide is that? I think it's two inches, five and a half by two. So I am going to, and I could do it right down the middle and do it like that. I could do this. I could do that coming down. I think this one though, I'm gonna put on the side and have, and this could go this way, but I kind of like that. But I, I need some room to do words. And we're gonna do thanks, thanks on this one. Since we can use, gotta use a smaller word to fit in there. All right, let's glue this down. Oh, look, I've got ink already all over myself. What are we doing on time? 43 minutes? Okay, almost done. All right, so this was the one I did other designer paper and black and then we have this one that just feels um I don't know it still feels a little boring to me let's do a bow let us do a bow because why not why not do a bow let's cut off that So when you guys get your packets from me and the bows are tied, this is what I have done. Unless it's the white twine bows, then I don't need I don't need my bow maker. But if it's a ribbon bow and it looks perfect, that is why. <laughs> this is how I tie them. And on my YouTube channel, I think I do have a, a video on how to make these. So subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Trying to get a, a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So please 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, just go to YouTube and type in my name, Sandy Reese, R-I-S-I, -I, uh, and you'll find me. Okay, let's see, where do I want to bow? No, no, it's got to be close to the words, I think. Let's put it right here in this corner. Cute. You could add some rhinestones to that too if you wanted. Up to you. All right, so what do we have left? Here's another card base. We have these little, here, let's do these. These are the last things we cut. They were three quarters inch by, um, by four. Let's see, I've got to get these back in the order that I cut them. What order did I cut them in? <laughs> Something's wrong. Let's flip that upside down and see if we can find it. Okay, that's good. All right, this one, there we, is that right? Yeah, that looks good. It's like a puzzle. So, all right, so I've cut a piece. I kind of measured. These are three quarters inch wide by four inches long. And so I cut this four and an eighth by two and a half. And this is gonna give me a very thin border all the way around. Where is my snail adhesive? All right, make sure you put them in order. So it's gonna have just like a very small border going around. When I do this, I will often do the outside edges first and just put them down very lightly in case you need to move them. Let's see, make sure I get them right, right way. Okay, I can press them down good, that looks good. All right. So now, what can I do with this? I can do it in the middle. I could do it on the side. I could flip it this way and go this route. This is what I did before. I just put it on the left and I did hello, hello, hello going down. I'm gonna show you how I did that. I don't think I'm gonna do it on this one. I don't know, maybe I will. So you stamp, ink it up and just stamp hello and then just keep going straight down without re-inking. And that's how you get that look. Very easy. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do the same thing. My brain is on sewing mode. It's unfortunately not on creative mode <laughs> too much today. So let's just go ahead and do it. I did the small hello because it does fit kind of going down there, although I think this needs to go over just a hair more. All right, let's do one more. Let's scooch it over just a bit. A bit closer to the edge and give us more room for hello. All right, I'm just gonna stamp it here. Okay, and then we're just gonna go down. like that. All right. Oh, I need that still for a couple more. Okay. We've got two more cards. So this is the one. This is two strips of four by one and a quarter. All right. So I think I'm going to do these going this way. I'm going to flip that since they don't have to go in order. I'm going to stick that one there. Oh, I'm out. I was so close to finishing. All right. I'm just going to use my snail adhesive, or not my snail, multi purpose liquid glue to finish up. All right, so I put those there. I might do um, 
some little magnolias. Where are those? Right here. Let's get rid of that. Let's do some little magnolias. I'm going to stamp off so they're light and just stamp a couple. Just to give a little extra texture in the center. Then I have a piece of white, and this is three by two, two by three. I've got ink on it. And then this is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So we're gonna flip that over. And let's do thinking of you. We're gonna do that one right in the middle. All right. And then we'll do maybe a little magnolia full strength there and one coming down there. Okay. a little bit of that. All right, and we'll pop this one up right in the middle. I'm just going to do three on here. It's pretty small. I'm not going anywhere. I wonder what it would look like with a little bit of ribbon coming down. Let's uh, I could put a little ribbon coming down the center. No, I don't like it coming from behind, but I am going to move it up, center it, and let's do one more bow. One more bow on this one. just going to put this bow right below my, my little stamped image there just to kind of fill in. Oh, that's cute. Okay, that's the way to go with that one. So this was the one from yesterday, and then this one I just changed it up. I changed it up just a little bit. Okay, we are on our last the card number 14. Can you believe we've done 14 cards today? That's crazy. All right, so now we have these three little strips. Oh my gosh, how did I cut these? Okay, there's, no. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's one. All right, so it's going, is that right? That looks right. Okay, so this has either got to go on one side or the other, there it is. Okay, so that's the direction. So these are one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And so this strip is one and three eighths by four and an eighth. All right. So we're gonna have very small, six, one sixteenth inch border all the way around. All right, so I'm going to do my outside two, and then I'm going to do the inside one. I probably could have scooted those in, but because I used Tombow, that's not going to happen. That's all right. Okay, final one. So let's do, because this is small, we could do this actually going up like this. It almost looks like a film strip. Let's do... Let's do it this way, and we're going to do another big magnolia. And I like the magnolia coming out from the paper, so let's just stamp it right there. We're going to glue our paper down right there. I have not stamped my words, so I'm like living dangerously now. 
All right. Let's see. We have a lot of room. Let's do, well, we could do a small word. Let's do an enjoy today. We haven't done a whole lot. So I'm going to just do this down here in the bottom. And some rhinestones. Because why not? So we'll do a large over here. We'll do a medium above it and a small next to the medium. Okay. That is it. We have done 14 cards in less than an hour. Woo! <laughs> Let's have some applause. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a lot of cards in an hour. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna flip this back up. Let me flip me right side up. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold this. All right, so thank you guys for stopping by today. Make sure to go to um, YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you share this, I'm gonna give you a couple ways to be entered into a drawing. I'm gonna draw two names this time. I'm gonna send half the card, seven cards to one person, seven cards to another. And so ways you can be entered into the drawing is to either share this post, make sure you type in shared in the comments, and then, or if you do a one sheet wonder, do the one sheet wonder, take a picture of all 14 cards and then post them under the thread in the comment section. Uh, I just would like to see different designer papers, different stamp sets used. Don't use the same one I did, use something different. And um, I'll do a drawing next week. I'll pick two names. And um, I will see you guys tonight here at 6.30 for workshop projects. All right. Bye, everybody. Stay safe.